Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, the Stratus ADSB products have been upgraded. Maverick flies again in Top Gun 2. The Jets are getting ready for Reno. I'm Bree Cross, it is July 7th, 2015, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Apario 4 Flight and Sporties have introduced a new family of Stratus ADSB receivers. The new Stratus IS and Stratus 2S models offer improved performance, including better ADSB reception, enhanced thermal capabilities, and a next generation power connector. It also offers a suite of security options, including the ability to hide the device's Wi Fi network and add a password. For pilots planning an ADSB panel upgrade, Stratus 1S and 2S can interface with Stratus ESG, Aperio's new ADSB out transponder. This combination of portable and TSO'd avionics offer a low-cost ADSB upgrade option. When used as an iPad accessory, Stratus provides subscription-free weather, dual-band ADSB traffic, a built-in altitude heading reference system, a WASP GPS, and an integrated flight data recorder. A new pressure altitude sensor allows pilots to view pressure altitude in ForeFlight, as well as enabling the app's cabin pressure advisor. Stratus 1S and 2S units are now shipping. It was inevitable, we suppose, that Hollywood would jump on the UAV bandwagon and make a movie in which they are the central focus. And so, it is reported that a sequel to Top Gun is in the works, in which Tom Cruise will reprise his role as Maverick, the irascible and cocky Navy fighter pilot. However, in Top Gun 2 Danger Zone, Maverick will not be battling Northrop F-5s poorly disguised as MiGs. He'll be working with drones. What is not clear is whether the UAVs will be the good guys, bad guys, or both. Details of the plot of the sequel are pretty scarce. It's reported that Paramount Pictures CEO David Ellison said that the world of dogfighting has changed and the movie will focus on the changing world of naval aviation and the increasing role unmanned or remotely piloted aircraft play in that world. It's good to hear that Paramount Pictures understands what role drones play in the world but we can't help but wonder when the FAA will figure that out also. After the break, jet racing in Reno gets more exciting. Now certified, Aspen Avionics single band ADS-B, ATX-100 and ATX-100G transceivers are the next gen ADS-B solution that provides the features pilots need while keeping flyaway costs low. Check it out now at AspenAvionics.com. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. AML's patent-pending wireless induction charging system eliminates confusion over those charging cables, cuts down cockpit cable clutter, and allows you and your passengers to fly cordless and eliminate the cable nightmare. www.aviationmodificationleaders.com Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, our website, or podcast, just email to news-spy at aero-news.net. The Reno Air Races now offer so many variations of racing that everyone has their favorite, and if your favorite is jet racing, here's an update. Jet team owner Ed Knoll has acquired a second racing L39 for 2015 and will be fielding it as Check 6 with Michael Steger as primary pilot. Steger will be joining teammate Rick Vandom in L39 American Spirit. Meanwhile, Rafael Collado is preparing for his second year at Reno. In his first year, then-rookie pilot Sean Cushing flew L39 riffraff to a fifth-place gold finish. Collado also acquired L39 Fast Company. Cushing's teammate David Kohler will pilot riffraff. A new single aircraft team from Texas is bringing the world's only L139 to the 2015 races. Commissioned for racing by team owner Diana Stranger, 
and raced by racer and aerobatic pilot Vicky Benzing. Two wild cards in 2015 are Australian Mark Pracy aboard his L39 True Blue and Pete Zaccanino, who is bringing an L39 and a possible second aircraft to Reno. The Reno Showdown this year will take place on September 16th through the 20th. Every Tuesday, we're going to look ahead at some of the more interesting events in the aviation universe. Here's this week's Aero Calendar. On July 11th, the NTSB is presenting a seminar highlighting the lessons learned from NTSB's accident investigations involving instructional accidents. The seminar will be held at the NTSB's Training Center in Ashburn, Virginia. On the weekend of July 11th and 12th, the 9th Annual Wings and Wheels Extravaganza will be held in Bethel, Pennsylvania at the Grimes Airport. This event has something for everyone, including a vintage automobile show and big band swing dance, hosted by the Golden Age Air Museum. Way out west in Truckee, California, you'll find the Truckee Tahoe Air Show and Family Festival on July 11th. Featured performer Patty Wagstaff is joined by other top-notch aerial acts. You'll also see the U.S. Air Force parachute team, the Wings of Blue. Going north of the border, we find the Prairie Heritage Air Show Society presenting the Prince Albert Airfair July 14th through the 16th. Being held in Prince Albert, Saskatchewan, Canada, the Canadian Forces Snowbirds will be joined by the Canadian CF-18 National Demo Team. From our side of the border, the CAF will also be there. And last but certainly not least, EAA Air Venture starts in only two weeks, and the ANN crew will be there a week early to prepare to bring you the very best Air Venture coverage. After these messages, Borschberg's solo flight is a record. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. The KSN 770 is an affordable, WAS-enabled, integrated MFD with a flexible hybrid user interface from Bendix King. Get your fingers on the 770's perfect blend of touchscreen and hard buttons. Easily control your GPS navigation, navcom, weather, traffic, and terrain in any condition. For more information, go to BendixKing.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. It's obvious that a flight in an all-electric powered airplane from Japan to Hawaii that takes five days must have set some records. Now it's official as the FAI has confirmed that Swiss pilot Andre Borschberg superseded Steve Fawcett's 2005 duration record. The Progress spacecraft successfully docked with the International Space Station Sunday afternoon. It arrived with 6,100 pounds of supplies after three previous attempts to resupply the space station failed. It's reported the crew said, quote, it feels like Christmas in July, end quote. The UK Airports Commission has published its final report, which sets out its recommendations to government for expanding aviation capacity in the UK. They concluded that a new Northwest runway is needed in Heathrow Airport. Lisa Turner of Hayesville, North Carolina, is a 2015 recipient of the EAA Tony Binglis Award. The Tony Binglis Award recognizes EAA technical counselors for dedicated service and or significant contributions in assisting members to build and restore aircraft. Sporty's pilot catalog just got a lot bigger as they have become a dealer for the American legend Aircraft's Legend Cub. Sporty's also announced that a Legend Cub will be the grand prize for their annual sweepstakes. 
Well, that's our trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. Unique International has launched the Typhoon Q500 4K, the newest member of the Tycoon family of drones that specializes in imaging. The Typhoon Q500 4K is an aerial and ground imaging solution, offering up to 25 minutes of flight time while filming with its CGO3 4K camera. The unit comes ready to fly with a standard ST10 Plus personal ground station featuring a 5.5-inch Android touchscreen display. The three-axis anti-vibration CGO3 gimbal camera and the optimized fixed focus lens capture smooth videos and crisp images which are stored to an internal memory card and streamed in real time to the ST10 Plus screen. In addition, all the controls typically used by professionals are accessible from the ST10 Plus personal ground station. The Typhoon 4K comes with several smart features built into the system, including speed control, follow me, watch me, and geofencing. Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us and a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news from the staff of the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource.